Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with TechOut. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new released iPad OS, and this is iPad OS 13. They did keep the numbering the same. And fun fact: if we hop into settings here and go to About, it actually does say. Um, if we go to Software Update, it actually does say iOS 13. I know it's hard to see because I have it laying down on the table, but it does say iOS 13. So it hasn't been fully rebranded yet. I don't know if they're going to, or if that's just for this. Let me take it out of dark mode real quick, just so you guys can see it a little bit better. We do have all those features that were released in iOS on the iPad and iPad OS. Um, one of the biggest things on the home screen is that the icons are a lot smaller. I don't know why that is, but if you rotate it to landscape, you do have the option to put this, um, your widgets and everything over here. And that you can customize and do the today view and all that kind of stuff and customize what widgets you have on here. So that's customizable. That only stays there in the landscape view. If you have it in portrait view, it does go away. So you have more screen space, obviously. Um, so that's some of the main stuff on iPad OS. There are some other things with the Apple Pencil and stuff like that that I have not tried yet. Everything else is going to be comparable to what you get on the iPhone and iOS 13 with the dark mode, the keyboard, all that kind of stuff. Everything in the settings looks pretty much the same as the iPhone and the video I did before. Um, so I haven't had too much time to play around this yet, with this yet. We do have Find My, um, that app. I don't think they talked too much about that or if they talked about it at all at WWDC. Everything else, like I said, pretty much the same. Same features up here um, with all that kind of stuff. You get the dark mode and everything like that, like I said. So that is just a first hands-on and what it looks like right off the bat. You can swipe to the side to get this. Now it comes out in a new animation um, that you don't get on the iPhone. And if you swipe... Okay, so that is a bug. There we go. There is back to the home screen. So I've been having some swipe issues on here. The keyboard doesn't want to always like type. It kind of just makes you type on the keyboard and it goes away. So the iOS... Um, iPad OS 13 is a little bit buggier than I've had um, on iOS 13 right now. Don't know why that is. I'm going to try restarting the iPad, see if that fixes anything. But a few more bugs on here than iOS 13. Definitely not a daily, dr daily driver on either one of them. But iOS 13 on the iPhone does seem to be a little bit more stable than iPad OS at the current time. Like I said, this is just a first look, so I'm not going into all the features of the new apps and stuff like that. This is just a first look at the UI changes and that kind of stuff on the iPad. And this has been Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe so you get more videos when I do a full in-depth tour after I've had some time to play around with this.